Sigourney Weaver has been confirmed to be in Mando and Grogu, the movie, the motion picture, which is coming out uh, sometime uh, in 2026. Sigourney Weaver has confirmed her role in the upcoming Star Wars film, The Mandalorian and Grogu. The iconic actress shared the news during an interview with Deadline magazine at the Venice Film Festival, where she was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Directed by John Favreau, the film began production earlier this summer. And it is set for a theatrical release on May 22nd, 2026. Weaver expressed her excitement about joining the Star Wars universe, mentioning that she recently met Grogu, the beloved character from the series. However, she remained extremely tight-lipped about specifics of her role, leaving fans to speculate whether her character will be an ally or an adversary. Pedro Pascal will reprise his role as the voice of Din Djarin, though his onset presence will be limited. Weaver is the second confirmed cast member with the involvement of other fan favorites like Katie Sackhoff and Giancarlo Esposito still uncertain. As production continues through the fall, anticipation for the film builds among fans waiting for more details. Nick, uh, Ripley is going to be in Star Wars. What do you think? Dana Barrett from Ghostbusters is going to be yeah. in Star Wars. Yes. Uh, what are so, your thoughts? I'm excited about this. This is an actress yeah. who was a big part of, you know, my younger years on a lot of different levels from Aliens to Ghostbusters to, you know, all these different things. I'm ex- And she's a great actress overall, yeah. so I'm excited for her to be a part of it. I have to say at this point, what I need from her is I need her to be an alien so of some sort, uh-huh. you know, a costume, a mask, a prosthetic. <laughs> okay. It is not identical to the alien and aliens, but gives you a little moment of like reminiscence because I need that alien character to have a scene with Pelimato because Pelimato is basically dressed like <laughs> Ripley. Is well, yeah, from, it's, um, it's funny to say that. I was I was going to say I want Sigourney Weaver to play Pelimato's mother or sister. I think that would <laughs> the be term, the jumpsuit uh, uh, like. <laughs> There's yeah. some sort of like 70s alien synergy going on here <laughs> that just totally works. But it's exciting. And this is, I mean, for the movie, and we've had a lot of these conversations lately about TV and the streaming platform versus yeah. the movies. You're excited to get Star Wars back on the big screen. I'm excited yeah. to get Star Wars on the big. That's something that I think we're sorely missing and is having an impact. So you want to get some big names in it. You're going to drum up yep. some interest. The trickiest part of that is you can't really ever predict how that's going to go because we have, you know, we've had other big name actors, you know, said to be in a star war and um, Phasma, I can't think of her name, Brianna Tarth, you know, she's going to be in star Wars and she ends up being under helmet the whole time. Great character. Yeah. But we have no idea what's coming. We don't know where this is going to go, but I do think it's a plus across the board. If you tell my dad Sigourney Weaver is going to be in the new star Wars movie, he's more interested than, just Pedro Pascal, who who really only knows is the Mandalorian. Right. Well, it'll be interesting too, to see, you know, it's funny. I think if you had told me this six, seven years ago, I would have been like, Oh, I, it's great. I love Sigourney Weaver, but I don't want somebody I know in there, but Woody Harrelson in solo, I was extremely worried about, but uh, I mean, he was Woody Harrelson. He's always Woody Harrelson and everything he does, right. but, but he it worked also worked really well there. They worked incredibly That's well there. Um, I will say the worst casting, and a lot of people are going to hate me for this, is Jack Black. As much as I'm a Jack Black fan, dude, he's it was just he just didn't feel right there. But I can't help but feel that 70s sci fi superstar Sigourney Weaver, 70s and 80s superstar, it just makes sense. So, yeah, that's a fun synergy of itself. I'm excited about that one. 